and welcome, welcome to Agora Math Circle. Before you continue watching this video, make sure to subscribe to the Agora Math Circle channel. This is Junior Advance, and we're going to be learning about scientific notation and powers of 10. So let's get started. So let's learn about the powers of 10. Previously, we learned about exponents, and we know that there's a base and power to exponents. The same goes for powers of 10. So instead of having lots and lots of zeros, you show how many powers of 10 make those zeros. So let's look at an example here. So 10 is the base and 3 is the power. So that's a power of 10. And the power basically shows how many zeros are in that number. So if we count how many zeros there are, there should be three zeros. So that's three zeros and that's 1,000. So 10 to the power of 3 is 1,000. Now let's do an example together. Now we have to do 5,000 as a power of 10. Now we know that 5,000 broken up is equal to 5 times 1,000. And previously we learned that 10 to the power of 3 is 1,000. We need to convert 1,000 to a power of 10. So that's 5 times 10 to the power of 3. Now let's do a practice problem together. Now let's write 700 as a power of 10. Now we have to break this up into two parts. So let's break it up into 7 times 100. So we can convert this into a power of 10. Now we know that 10 has to be the base, and we know that the power shows how many zeros are in that number. And there's two zeros in 100, so the power must be 2. So 700 is equal to 7 times 10 to the power of 2. Hope you understood this. Now let's move on to multiplying by a power of 10. Let's go ahead and read the directions. When multiplying a whole number by a power of 10, just count how many zeros you have and attach that to the whole number. Let's look at this example that's already solved. 36 times 10 to the power of 3. Well, we already learned in the last lesson that the power over here indicates how many zeros you have to add in. Well, in this case, the power is 3. So we have to add in 3 zeros. And it says, after that, you just have to attach the whole number. So we have 3 zeros. So we've already written down 36. And we have to attach those 3 zeros, which gives us a product of 36,000. So that's how you solve it. Now let's go ahead and do the practice problems. Write 3.76 times 10 to the power of 4 as an ordinary number. Well, first, we have to write down 3.76. Now we have to count how many zeros we have. Well, we know that we're going to have four zeros since the power is 4. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, since we have a decimal here, we first have to move the decimal two places to the right before we count. So, we will, we're already going to take two zeros away, just making this a whole number, which, which will be 3.76 times 100. And 3.76 times 100 is going to be 376. So, we have these three zeros taken away. Now, we have these two zeros, which gives us 376, and we add in these two zeros. So, we get 37,600. So that's how you solve the first one over here. Now let's move on to the second one. What is 1 million as a power of 10? Well, let's first write down 1 million. We know that it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 zeros. And I've already told you that the, num that the power, or the number that's shown as the power, is the number of zeros that you input in. And in this case, we have 6 zeros. So the power is obviously going to be 6. So 10 to the power of 6 is a million. Now let's learn how to divide by powers of 10. Starting from the right of the whole number, separate as many decimal digits as there are zeros in the power. Let's do an example together. Now we're dividing 265 by 10 to the power of 2. Now we know that 10 to the power of 2 is equal to 100, since there the power is 2, and it indicates how many zeros there are. So 10 to the power of 2 is equal to 100. So we're dividing 265 by 100, meaning that we're moving the decimal place to the left two times, like this, since we're dividing by 100 and not multiplying by 100. Now when we do that, we know that our decimal point is right here, and the answer is 2.65. So the answer is 2.65. Now let's do a practice problem together. The supermarket sells 100,000 bananas. They are separated into 100 piles. How many bananas are in each pile? Write as a power of 10. Now we're dividing 
a hundred thousand by a hundred. Now we can cancel two zeros from the top and the bottom. So our answer is one thousand. But we need to write as a power of ten. And we know that there is three zeros, and a power indicates how many zeros there are. So our answer is going to be 10 to the power of 3. So there are 10 to the power of 3 bananas in each pile. Hope you understood how to divide by powers of 10. Now let's learn about the scientific notion, notation, also known as standard form. The scientific notation is a special way of writing numbers using powers of 10. It's written in two parts. The first part consists of digits with the decimal point after the first digit. And the second part consists of a power of 10 that puts the decimal point where it should be. Do you not understand this? Well, let's do an example problem to help you understand. Now, let's solve 4,900,000 in standard form or scientific notation. Now, as it says that the digits has to have the decimal point after the first digit. So, it should be 4.9, not 49. Now, we know that there's five digits, I mean five zeros, in 4,900,000. But, since there's a decimal point right here, we have to add another zero. So, that's 4.9 times 1 million, which is 4.9 times, now how many zeros are there in 1 million? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, that's six zeros. So, the answer is 4.9 times 10 to the power of 6. Now let's do a practice problem together. Now let's do 718,000 in standard form. Now as it says, there should, the first digit should have a decimal point after the first digit. So it should be 7.18. Now from there, there's two, two digits going. Now that there's three zeros in 718,000. But since there's a decimal point after two, before two of the digits, we're going to add two more zeros. So that's going to be 10 to the power of 5. So the answer is 7.18 times 10 to the power of 5. Now let's learn how to multiply in scientific notation. To multiply in scientific notation, we have to first multiply the numbers separately. Then we have to add the powers of 10. And finally, we have to put the numbers and powers of 10 together and put it into scientific notation form. Now let's do an example together. Now we have to multiply 1.4 times 10 to the power of 2 times 2 times 10 to the power of negative 5. Now the first step is to multiply the numbers separately. We did that right here. 1.4 times 2 is equal to 2.8. Then we have to add the powers of 10. Now 10 to the power of 2 times 10 to the power of negative 5. When you subtract, you get 2 minus 5, which is 10 to the power of negative 3. And finally, we have to put them together into scientific notation form, which is 2.8 times 10 to the power of negative 3. So our answer is 2.8 times 10 to the power of negative 3. Now to a practice problem together. Now we have to do 2 times 10 to the power of 3 times 3 times 10 to the power of 4. Now our first step is to multiply the numbers. Now 2 times 3 is 6. Now our second step is to add the exponents or powers of 10. Now 3 plus 4 is 7 so that's 10 to the power of 7. And finally we have to put them together into standard form or scientific notation form which is 6 times 10 to the power of 7. So our answer is 6 times 10 to the power of 7. Hope you understood this. Now let's learn how to divide in scientific notation. To divide in scientific notation, first divide the numbers, then subtract the powers of 10, and finally join the two to create the scientific notation in the form. Now let's do an example together. Now 3.6 times 10 to the power of negative 3 divided by 1.8 times 10 to the power of 4. First we have to divide the two numbers. So 3.6 divided by 1.8 is equal to 2. Now, then we have to subtract the two powers of 10. Now, 10 to the minus 3 divided by 10 to the power of 4 is equal to 10 to the minus 7, since negative 3 minus 4 is negative 7. And finally, we join the two to create 2 times 10 to the power of negative 7. So that's our answer in, in scientific notation form. Now, let's do a practice problem together. 6 times 10 to the power of 4 divided by 3 times 10 to the power of 3. Now, first we have to divide the two numbers. 
6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. Then we have to subtract the powers of 10. 10 to the power of 4 divided by 10 to the power of 3. Now, 4 minus 3 is what? 1, right? So that's 10. So, finally, we join the 2 to create 2 times 10 to the power of 1, which is just 2 times 10. So that's our answer. So I hope you enjoyed our video, and I hope it helps you in your classwork and homework. Make sure to subscribe to the Agora Math Circle channel. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe and like. If you have any questions, you can email info at agoramathcircle.org or comment below and we'll reply back. Maybe. And if you want to see practice things or anything about us, you can visit our website, which is basically the end of the email, but without the info and the end. So bye!